What's up everybody? Chris Blevins here, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are gonna cover the cold weather gear that I use, the cold weather gear that I wear to keep me fishing, to keep me on the water all winter long. In the videos lately, you guys have been hearing me talk about the fact that these yellowtail will bite throughout the fall, through the winter, into the early spring, throughout those cold weather months. Those fish are gonna be out here, they're gonna be in deep water, we're gonna be fishing dropper loops and heavy irons, and targeting them but if you can't stay warm and stay dry out here on the water then you're gonna have a hard time staying out here and whirly working and really trying to find these fish so this is the gear that i wear to keep me warm and dry and keep me on the water all winter long so winter time in la jolla means big surf at the launch it means cold offshore winds in the mornings and colder water so having the right layers on so that you can strip down to stay comfortable is key Right now it's mid morning and things are warming up. So I'm gonna be able to take some of these layers off. But this morning, the water temps were like down in the low 40s. It was about seven miles an hour offshore wind and super cold. So if you don't have the right gear to stay dry through the surf launch and to stay protected from the wind out here on the water, then you're gonna have a really hard time coming out here and targeting these fish in the cold wet weather months. So first thing we're gonna start off with is PFD. Obviously, no matter what time of year it is, I'm always wearing this PFD. This is a Kokatat Bahia PFD. This thing's getting pretty old and nasty. Might be time to replace this soon. Next up, we'll go over my headgear. Pretty standard stuff here, nothing special. I got a Carhartt beanie. Any beanie or like cold weather hat that you want will work well for you. Um, my suggestion is if the surf is big, don't wear this through the launch. Put this, stash this away in your dry bag so that this can stay dry and you can put it on after you get out through the launch. Same thing goes with the buff rag. This is a cold weather buff, okay? I think this is merino wool or some kind of warmer buff, okay? So I'll bring out two buffs during the day, one for the cold morning and then I'll bring out a warm weather buff for later on for sun protection. But this is gonna be key to keep your body heat in around your neck and to keep the wind off of your face in the morning. So this is a reflective merino wool buff. Probably you guys are pretty familiar with these already. Next up is a really critical piece and that's this Kokatat splash jacket. Any kind of paddling jacket or splash jacket is good. The Kokatat Gore-Tex splash jacket is really nice. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but it has a Gore-Tex, it's a Gore-Tex shell, so it's permeable, it breathes really well, but it's also super waterproof. Okay, so wearing this over the top is what's gonna keep the water from getting inside my waders when we're going through the surf launch. Some of the key points about the, about the splash jacket is they will have these kind of rubberized gaskets and you wanna have that on your skin. You don't wanna have your shirt kind of poking out through here and then have that, then water soaks on this and it leaches inside. So you wanna have these gaskets right on your skin. Have this buttoned up, this buttoned up. This will be right on your neck and then gasket or the drawstring down here keeps it sealed from the bottom. There's some more affordable splash jackets out there, maybe non Gore-Tex. I think NRS has some, and there's some other brands that have them out there. So let me know in the comments if you have other splash jackets that you like. Under that is probably the most important and probably the most controversial of all of my cold weather gear. And that is my breathable stocking foot waders. These are just some cheap Chinese ones, high C brand. I think they were hundred bucks on Amazon but they work great. These are gonna be crucial for keeping your feet dry and for keeping you nice and warm on the water because you can put on warm layers underneath this and be able to stay dry, okay? A lot of people will say that wearing waders on the water is dangerous. Uh, I highly disagree with this, but it's a very contentious point. I know in Northern California, people advise you not to wear waders, so use your own discretion. Um, always wear your PFD and I don't think it's gonna be a problem. We can get more into detail into that controversy in the comments if you want. Maybe one day I'll do a, a video addressing the waders issue, but breathable stocking foot waders are crucial, okay? Underneath my waders, I'll have a nice hoodie, okay? You don't want something super baggy. You want something a little tight and form-fitting because again, you're stacking layers on top of this thing. If it's too baggy or voluminous, um, it'll be hard to get your splash jacket on over the top of it. So I'll wear a pretty uh, form-fitting hoodie underneath. Um, this is a nice one from Hook. 
There's also the AFCO Reaper, which is really nice. But yeah, your hoodie will stay on underneath your splash jacket. That'll keep you super warm. Okay, underneath the waders, we got the hoodie. And then I'll wear just a normal pair of sweatpants here. These are just normal sweatpants. You don't need some special sweatpants underneath because my waders are going to keep me dry and keep me warm so I can just wear kind of normal clothes underneath these sweatpants. Underneath the hoodie, I got this AFCO uh, hooded sun shirt. You know, you guys see me wear this all summer long. This is mostly for sun protection. Doesn't offer you much in the way of thermal insulation, but it's nice to have this underneath because if you know it's gonna warm up in the afternoon and get sunny, then you're gonna probably strip down and then you'll have your sun shirt uh, ready to go for a sunnier afternoon, like where we're at now. Like I said, it was like in the 40s this morning and right now it's probably 70s out here so I'm gonna strip all this warm weather gear off and I'll be in a nice outfit so that I'm not sweating all day but I stay nice and dry in the morning all right so underneath my sweatpants I got some board shorts and I have some thermally insulated Under Armour uh, tights so these are pretty sweatproof pretty waterproof uh, compression uh, undergarment that's uh, insulated thermally insulated it's nice and warm but I can wear it in the Sun it can get wet and I'll wear it underneath my board shorts when I strip off all my waders and my sweatpants I'll just have the board shorts and then the tights in the summertime I'll wear some non insulated tights but these Under Armour insulated uh, Under Armour compression pants over the top of those on the bottom I don't know if you can see here I got some merino wool socks. Any brand of, of good socks is gonna serve you really well. Again, my stocking foot waders are keeping me dry, so I can wear snowboarding socks or even just a normal pair of cotton socks. I really like some merino wool socks high up on the calf, give you a little extra insulation, keep your feet warm inside of the waders. So the socks are pretty key. Um, anytime that I take off the waders, then I'm just taking off the socks at the same time. All right, so now I'm down to board shorts. I got my thermal tights, I got my sun shirt. Underneath the sun shirt, I have another thermal layer here. So underneath the sun shirt, I have this O'Neill fleece, uh, fleece lined thermal insulating um, rash guard. I think people use these for like dry suits or they'll use them like underneath a wetsuit. They're um, pretty quick drying. I'm not exactly sure what material this is, but you see it's kind of a fleecy material. It's nice and tight because it's gonna go underneath all these layers and I gotta put the splash jacket on, jacket on top. So again, I don't want some bulky clothing underneath there. I wanna have some pretty form-fitting clothing so that everything can, all these layers will fit underneath my waders and underneath my splash jacket. So this thermal insulated layer, basically these are like my, all the way down to my underwear is just this thermal rash guard and these thermal tights. But since it's hot, I'm gonna lose the thermal layer and then put the sun layer back on top. All right, so now I'm stripped down to my warm weather gear. If I was launching in the middle of the morning or the middle of the day and the sun was already out, I'd probably just be launching in this outfit. I would have all this warm weather gear stowed in my hatch so I could put it on later in the afternoon or if the clouds move in or if it gets cold and I could put all these layers back on. Also in my hatch, I got my hat, I got my sunglasses and I got a warm weather buff for my face so I don't have to wear that thermally insulated merino wool buff all day when, when it's nice and hot or you're putting in long miles and you're sweating. You don't wanna be soaked in sweat, you wanna stay dry, so where you're wearing quick dry fabrics, I really try to avoid cotton as much as I can, except for like the sweatpants or whatever. So now, I got all my gear stripped off. What I'm gonna do is, to keep it nice and dry in case I need it later, I'm just gonna take all this stuff and I'm gonna stash it inside my waders. All my stuff that I wanna keep dry goes inside my waders, ball them up nice and good, and then that's gonna get stowed in my front hatch. All right, so if the wind comes up, or if I start to get a little chilly while I'm out here, strip down, I can just put my splash jacket on the top. That'd be pretty, keep you pretty warm. Or if it starts to get really cold, I can start putting my layers back on. All right, guys, there you have it. Try some of these tips, try out some of this gear to keep you on the water. Remember to be careful on the surf launch. 
stow your gear, make sure everything's secured coming through that surf. Also, make sure you're always wearing your PFD out here, especially in the cold water. Hypothermia can set in really quick. It doesn't take that cold of water to give you hypothermia. So if you are worried about falling in or getting immersed, you may want to consider using a Farmer John or some kind of neoprene wetsuit to keep you warm. Uh, the disadvantages of that is that it's going to get wet and it's super uncomfortable and um, you're just going to be kind of sitting in your own sweat and wetness all day, which I'm not a fan of. A lot of guys in Northern California will say that you dress for immersion and to use the uh, Farmer John or neoprene. Here in Southern California, we wear waders, splash jackets. I'm not aware of anyone who's ever sunk or drowned. There's a myth out there that if you fall in the water with waders on that you'll fill up with water and then somehow the water will be heavier than the surrounding water and you'll, and you'll sink and die. Um, I think that's just an urban legend, but maybe we'll address that in a video one day. Anyway, I hope you guys like this video covering the winter cold weather gear. If you guys have a kayaker on your Christmas shopping list, or if your wife needs some suggestions, or your significant other, or your family needs some suggestions on some gear to buy for you, you know, the waders are, you can get the waders online for about a hundred bucks. Splash jacket to get the nice Gore-Tex ones a little bit more, but those are really great items. Try to buy the items at a local shop. I know that uh, OEX has the splash jacket sometimes or try, check out one of your local paddling or fishing gear stores. You know, maybe you can shop local, maybe you can pick up these items online. You know, good gift ideas for the holidays. It is the holiday season, so happy holidays to everybody out there. As you can see, uh, the weather's pretty nice out here in La Jolla. There's nobody out. I'm out here all alone. Maybe we'll find some yellowtail here soon, but as always, thanks you guys for watching the channel. Thanks to all the subscribers and if you like this video, go ahead and leave me a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe now. Hopefully I'm gonna keep the content coming all winter long. Stay focused this winter, get out there, stay after your target, and we will see you at the launch.